Hi everyone and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how we can create a subscribe page in PHP list. So this is very useful in order to grab the different emails in order to send a newsletter and emailing. In order to create your first subscribe page, you just need to go here in config, then subscribe pages, then add a new subscribe page, then you give whatever name you want here, then here for the intro is whatever you want as well. So all those information will be displayed on the page that PHP list is going to create for you. So nothing's complicated here is the thank you, um, uh, let's say confirmation message when uh, they confirm their email address. And that's it. You can of course add some additional feature, but just to make it straight, okay. Uh, once it's created, you can just click here on the eye and you will see directly in fact, the uh, different HTML element that I was showing and the different feature that you can see uh, over here. Uh, that's good, as you can see, it's really straightforward, but the main uh, drawback that you're going to see is that this is hosted on your PHP list directly and it's not in, uh, integrated to your website. And probably what you want to have is actually something which is um, integrated within your page. So in order to integrate it within uh, any given page, so I'm going to take the example of the Floss Marketing School, right? You see that this given form is... Um, actually uh, sending the data straight away to a PHP list. And how did I do that? So in order to do it, all you will need is this given URL, right? This one is important. And as well, some uh, text which are uh, hidden over here. So I'm going to have a look at it. And um, yeah, so oops, just going to go on the source code instead. Okay, over here you get those information, right? Oops those two okay and those two are saying to php list in which list you would like to add the email for and the fact that uh, the email has been validated so that's that's really important so this is what we did over here if we just have a look at at the source code you will see that it's composed like this so okay i have my form id okay so this one has been automatically fulfilled. And um, here I have my HTTPS uh, list. So the URL that was showing you some minutes ago. And um, here I got, in fact, the two tag that I was showing you. And that's it. Okay, that's the only thing that I have within my source code in order to uh, generate it. I can even go within uh, the edit setting like this. You will see the full the full code entirely so that's why I integrated it oops okay so you see you have uh, over here your your form which is starting here method post action uh, indicating the list to which you would like to add it the different criteria here and the end of your form and as a result now if I go on my on my website so I'm just gonna go back on this I'm gonna go directly like this and doing a new private window and oops so like this i'm going to enter whatever email so let's imagine that it's uh yeah me personally want to subscribe submit and you will be redirected directly saying you okay thank you for subscribing to our newsletter your email has been added to our system you'll receive a message with a request to confirm your membership and that's it and uh, you can, of course, when you define your HTML form to say, OK, I want when the mm -hmm. user is going to send the form to send it to a new tab. And this is what I did with a target link. And that's it uh, for today. So um, just try to create your first subscription page in PHP list and try to custom it by integrating directly on your website. And like this, people will have the feeling that they are on your website when they are uh, sending their email. Once more, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to create your own video and share it on social networks.